Hey guys, it's Latoya from Hanging with the Kiddos Creative Creations. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom gable boxes over on Canva. I'm going to show you how to create a custom design. I'm going to print and I'm going to show you how to assemble. So make sure you watch the entire video. If you find the video helpful, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so to get started, the first thing you want to do is grab the template. If you don't have it already, you can find the link for it in the description box down below. Once you have the template link, you're going to pull up this page. Make sure you're already signed into your Canva account. Canva is free. You can use this template on the free version and also the paid version. This is the template box itself. It's pretty easy, but it was a little bit complicated to make. So I can't show you how to make this template yourself over in Canva because I had to make it outside of Canva. To change this box color, you will click this gray area here. You will go up to the color tab and you can change the color from there. Let's say you wanted to use an image for your background instead of a solid color. Let me show you how to do that. You will go over to your upload tab and upload any images that you want to use. Or you can go and select a folder to find your image. So I'm going to select this folder here. All right, let's say I wanted to use this image for my background. If I wanted to use this image to cover my entire box, I would simply right click and select replace background. If for some reason you don't like this, you can simply go up here and select that image again, right click and select detach from background. If I don't want it to cover the entire box, but one area, I will select the image and I will resize it to fit that area. See, I would go up to the position tab and I would push it backwards. If I wanted to remove this image from the background, I would select the white area of the template, go up to position and push it back. And that's going to release that image from the background. And if I don't want the image, I can delete it. If I don't like it, select the template, the white area of the template, go up to the position and push it back and it's going to release that image. All right, so once you're happy with your background, you can start adding your clip arts or any images that you want to use. You can head over here to the text tab and add your text. You can select any of these options. You can change the text style by selecting the text tab up here and select a different font that you want to use. You can go up here to change the size and you can click here to change the font color. here this is going to be the bottom of your box so after you're done you want to head on over to the downloads tab and it's best to save this as a pdf file and you want to print two copies and you want to assemble those two labels together all right guys let's get to the fun part i'm about to quickly create a design i'm going to print and i'm going to assemble stay tuned
For best results, print your labels out on white cardstock. I'm going to be using this printable glitter cardstock paper that I already had. I also wanted to mention that on one of the labels, I accidentally printed the label out on the wrong side of the glitter cardstock paper. So instead of wasting the paper, I just reprinted the label out on the correct side. And that's why you see the double print on one of the labels. Alright guys, I hope you all found the video helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post more videos. You can find a link to the template and all the materials that I use to assemble in the description box down below. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!